this evening as Jamie's got a in speaking engagement. And we have tonight's guests are, we have Tammy Pierce, who's the president of Military Families of Monroe County. And her sidekick is Sherry Wachowski. Wachowski. Wachowski, sorry. Close. She's, she's the uh, president. Vice I got president. them backwards. <laughs> I introduced you backwards. Okay. That's all so right. We're I'm the, go president. With the president. She's, she's the, the vice, vice president. president. But you guys are a dynamic duo. We are. Together. We are. Right. I know, because sometimes titles get, but it's important at certain times, but I get it. Owners, reps, vice presidents, you know, jack of all trades. You do everything, probably, yeah. right? It's just you two guys then? Oh, no. You two gals? We got, have a whole team. Do you? Tell me about them. Um, we have about 30 active members. Yes. And um, we meet once a month okay. at the Mineral VFW. And where, which, where's that at? Over on Jones. Jones? Avenue Jones. in Monroe, corner oh, of Jones well, up and in Monroe. Yeah, I don't get up there much, but okay. Unfortunately, COVID has put right. a big crimp um, on our meetings. We mm -hmm. haven't had a meeting since March. But uh, we will start our 10th year in October, so we've wow. been around for a couple a, of years. That's great. How 10 did, years. And at first, I want to thank you. Our daughter is a part of your program as well, Summer Rose. And I uh, sent her a package, and I know them are very, they're big. You know, yes. I, I had seen a, a show, it's called Boots for Troops. They were, they were on a show, and they were getting a truck, whatever. But they were talking about packages, how important they are. And I get it, whether you've had a, a letter comes or any of that. So I know that they they mean a lot to these it's huge. these. Uh, People are, are veterans, and as well as uh, the military. Did you send them to veterans and the military? We send our care packages to all active military. Okay. Both stateside and, and overseas. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I wanted to um, bring up the fact that we've been asked before, well, why would you send care packages to the people that are stateside? Mm -hmm. Well, they're away from home. Yeah. And they need our support just as much as Absolutely. the folks overseas. Mm -hmm. But in, uh, we send care packages twice a year in May and November, and it about killed me. Right. But we had to cancel our May care package workshop because wow. of COVID. COVID, sure. And our first, our first one. Our first one in really? nine years that we've canceled. canceled. Yeah. And I know there was a lot of people, not to downplay it, but I know Jamie had uh, helped out on one of them. Yeah. Packing boxes or whatever. Yes. She had said that that was awesome she enjoyed it very well she's she loves doing that stuff you know I uh so that's uh I know with uh you have some pictures and stuff set up here so let's uh let's explain to them again our viewers what uh, what all you do got my notes here well our, notes. our first board is all of our hero homecomings okay how did you get started yeah, st okay. all right yeah. um, how we got started uh -huh. well um, 12 years ago, my son was U.S. Army Infantry. Okay. Right down here? Well, no, yeah. Yep. Always wanted to be in the military. Mm hmm And when he was deployed to Afghanistan, I was like, wow, this is a real deal. Right. Kind of hit home, huh? So marketing's my background, and um, my family adopted his platoon. Mm hmm And... At that point in time, I realized that these guys in Afghanistan, that's all they had to look forward to. Right. Sure. Um, yeah, uh, we sent, um, I sent a pre-lit Christmas tree all decorated in red, white, and blue. Right on. Um, I had donation box in some of the grocery stores mm -hmm. for his platoon, and I never even knew there were strawberry Twinkies, but right. someone had donated a box of strawberry Twinkies, and he's like, Mom. Send more of those Twinkies. So right. I called Hostess and, right. and they helped sent out. 54 boxes wow. to his platoon. Good for you. Um, but yeah, we sent a lot. And once I realized how happy we made them, mm -hmm. I'm like, why cannot? Why can we not do this for all of our troops from right. Monroe County? Right. And that is how, how military families. Are awesome. Monroe County. Good for you. No, good. Boom. Good for. Boom. Good for yeah, them. Gotcha, gotcha. Serious. <laughs> well, yeah. Good. Yeah. For everybody, I it's, I can understand it. And I've been asked because my son has been home. Um, he received one care package for military families, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, but I've been asked over the years, why do you still do what you're doing? Right. You know, your son's been home for so many years, and I I honestly feel that this is my calling. Oh, good for you. I, I, so how long has he been out? Um, Josh was out in two thousand. 13, I believe. So, yeah, he's 
armed security at Fermi. He owns oh, his right, own absolutely. concealed weapons permit right business. On, right on, right um, Yeah, he's been out for quite a while and doing very well, by so the way. So he's up there right now working at Fermi? Yes. I've, uh, I've been up there and uh, done some work up over there. And I'll, uh, uh, they have, because uh, since 9-11, obviously, they're, uh, they got the, they're actually have the little square boxes that they're fully loaded on, looking out the whole time. The, a, a friend of mine developed, not to get too quick, developed the fence. Squirrel. Uh, develop, <laughs> I heard you're not allowed to say know, that, by the way. <laughs> develop the fence that was so sensitive that if trucks drove by, because there's some type of uh, networking system in there that monitors the at Fermi, that even the vibrations set this fence off. So he developed something to, to absorb the shock of the earth so that if anybody touches it. But they shoot off there all the time. Oh, yeah. You hear him shooting all oh, the time. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right up so my that's cool. alley. He was, so that's how you got started. Yeah, he was actually a 240 machine gunner. Wow. In Afghanistan. Right. So, yeah, him. mom so got not gray only, hair. Yeah, and he's utilizing them skills now. Absolutely. Good for him, man. Absolutely. Because there is, right. So do either one of you currently serving or have met, you know, have anybody in the... That are serving? You do? My son is in Fort Drum right now. He just got back from Afghanistan. Wow. His second tour of Afghanistan. Right. And how long has he been in? 12 years. 12 years. So is he going to, like, is he still on orders then for another? Yeah, he's going to do his 20. 20 years, so he's going to make it full time. Mm -hmm. And what is he doing there? He's a flight paramedic. Flight paramedic. He's in the helicopters. Oh, right on, right. Because that's what Summer, I think we talked about that, didn't we? Because Summer's yes. going to fly in them. And so she want, if she does medic or evac, then she would have him on board. Yeah, potentially. I'm just saying this. Yeah, if they were if they were in the same base. Sure, yeah. but he's he's a, he rides on them and and then uh, yeah. front lines and helps them. And Absolutely. All that. Wow. That's yeah. That's a special person. Yes. They, all of them, yeah, but they all it definitely are. Uh, to do the even in you know in the private sector just to be able to handle the trauma stuff like that. Sure. Well, we thank him for his service, and obviously, with what you got going, this is uh, we're going to talk a little more about it. Well, can we go back to the it. first board? Yeah, I, well, that's what I wanted to do because okay. you said how uh, how you uh, had the homecomings, and then the different what each one of these boards. Right. So your homecomings, as you showed us earlier, that okay. We do hear all homecomings for our combat veterans, and we haven't done one in a while, um, and of course, COVID didn't help that at right, all. Right. Sure. But basically, it's a parade all through mm -hmm. downtown Monroe. We mm -hmm. have fire trucks. Um, motorcycle. Motorcycles. Uh, we have all the marquees down Monroe Street. Okay. All with signs welcoming whoever. Oh, okay. Came so it's home. like a ticker take or whatever we when they come home from the Super World War. Cool. You know, seen on yeah, seen on television like when the World War One or Two ended. Right. I got you. But hometown. And, and awesome. Don Superstore. He always supplies a right. tape right. for the veteran that comes home. And then once the parade is completed, then we go back over to the VFW. Mm -hmm. And we have a party for them. We have a customized cake. We have a welcome home banner that all the guests sign. We have a meal for them. Mm -hmm. It's really a pretty cool deal. Wow. And that yeah, all that started is. with that's, my son as well. It. Yeah, sure. Wow, I can uh, I can see that. That's that's awesome. Yeah, that is. Uh, I've been uh, with with Jamie at the base. I've been at the 180th when they've come home and the brought troops back. The whole if my her coming back from a, a deployment. Sure. And they've had certain ones, and it's. Uh, it's overwhelming. It's very cool, but yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. It's and, it's a community event. Yeah, yeah, and there's a, a lot of that's. Uh, we don't get too far down the rabbit hole, but a lot of that's been lost. And and if we don't, like you're saying, why do you keep doing it? Because if you don't keep this alive, and 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 our veterans, everything that is going on in the current climate, is is all over while we have these rights, and that's, you know, without the veterans. We wouldn't have, they wouldn't have these Absolutely. rights. Absolutely. And they're not, uh, but I don't want to go there. She'll, <laughs> she'll school me. But it's the truth. It's the truth. It is you the know, truth. It is absolutely the truth. The truth because, uh, we owe them a debt of mm -hmm. gratitude. So how did you and Little Blessings uh, get involved? I've never heard that story. Or Well, it, I have get? heard of Little Blessings. Um, one of my members actually helped at one of Jamie's events. Mm-hmm. Um, but Jamie contacted me via Facebook mm -hmm. Messenger. Right. And um, when she contacted me, I'm like, yes, I've heard of your organization. Mm -hmm. By the way, you have an amazing wife. Oh, yes. thank you. <laughs> yeah. Jamie uh, rocks. She does. Oh, yeah. she's, she's got she's a heart joke, of gold. Man. She knows what yep. she's doing. And yep. kudos to Jamie. Thank you so much. She's a, uh, I've said it, and she's a worker, and man, she's a, ain't no joke. And I don't mean she works, literally. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, she's got a mind on her too, but she also works when she's, uh, yep, thank you though. It, Absolutely. It, I've said it too. Sir, look, I've said it many times that I sure hope that these people and these things that you do, that people appreciate her. And I'm not saying that selfish because, again, back to the family. When we're at home and they're gone, our families go through a as much and certain things that absolutely that even though they're gone we put up with whether it's picking up the you know employment the house the kids mm -hmm. all of them other sacrifices right but i've watched my wife for 25 years you know through her total military career to this and everything she yeah, she goes in she's all in so but yeah i appreciate that so so then you guys got connected and then she Invited and then to, I, she invited me down to Duke Farm. And, right. Yeah, and ever since then we've been friends. Then she and, come and did the bat. bat. So are you going to be doing another uh, a stuffing event? Care, stuff, care, care, care package, package care workshop. Package stuff. Go. When is that? And it will be the second Wednesday in November. Go ahead and show that to Andy if you don't have it. And you stuff. want to talk about what we're doing, yeah. Sherry? This is, yeah. this is our care package workshop the second week in November. Mm -hmm. And since the COVID, we have not been able to have any fundraisers. So what we'd like to do is get donations. Uh, you can send monetary donations to that address that we have. You have that, Andy? Yeah, we'll put a link up too when this is all over on our... our Thank uh, you. And um, we're asking for either gift cards and 10 or $20 denominations to uh, restaurants or Amazon. stores, Amazon, that are uh, that we can have to put all the, the stores just go to like Wendy's, McDonald's, Taco sure. Bell, Walmart. Even just the cash cards, like at Myers, you right. pick up a fifty dollar, twenty, ten dollar one. Yeah, yeah. They, right. They can use wherever gas, whatever. Right. right. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, because see, Myers not all over the United States. Right. But Walmart is. Sure. So we just have to get things that we could send to every soldier. Right. And we're going to put in their cap uh, for the ones in state. We'll send the care the uh, uh, an envelope and put the uh, the cards in a stocking mm -hmm. and send sure. them that way with cards. Right. And then overseas, we'll send the care package workshop where we where you have sent all the stuff. Boxes. Sure. So I'm we good. had to tweak our care. Sure. Normally they all receive care packages. Mm -hmm. Stateside, overseas, everyone receives care mm -hmm. packages. Right. And because I didn't know if we were going to be able to get together as a group, because it's it's a huge undertaking I've doing all that packing. I've seen it. Um, she showed me all, you know how she is with pictures and posting. Yeah. We sure. got to make sure we get our picture <laughs> when we're done. Yeah, yeah Sherry and I, we did some brainstorming. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we, again, knew that we could not not do something again. Right. Um, so we thought, okay, at least we all the stateside will get gift cards. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, the overseas will get the care packages. And Lord willing, we'll be all <laughs> back to normal in May and everyone will. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I don't foresee any troops complaining that they're right. going to get a gift card. Right. No. And, and yeah. then the other thing that we do as well... Our care package workshops are actually a community event, too. Mm -hmm. um, the schools and churches all do handmade cards. Jamie did them yeah. last year at one of her events at Duke Farm. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of the schools are closed. Mm -hmm. Or if they are open, the schooling is minimal. Right. Um, but I've had 4-H groups. I've had churches. Mm -hmm. So even individuals, if you guys want to make some cards... Um, just thanking them for their service, yeah. Christmas theme, yeah. even mm -hmm. just a generic, Yeah. Um, because the troops love them. In fact, I've they, actually uh, met people that we've sent care packages right, to right, over the right. years, Yeah. men that have told me, do you know I have kept every single card right, you've right. ever sent me? I bet. That's cool. Because it does mean a lot. I can only, I mean, I've been away from home, and then also with Jamie being gone, uh, and I know what it is when you go uh, a while without any contact. And, you know, thank God we have the technology we have now because even like with Jamie on these deployments, I mean, it does help that we can do these video chats because the older veterans, uh, a friend of ours who uh, was talking when they used to have to go to the top of them when he was in, like in Vietnam, they'd get the one call on a satellite deal and he'd have to go on the radio, make sure the day wasn't cloudy. You got your time to go up on the top of the hill where they had, you know, to make yeah. a call and then you made sure through a letter that you were home, all that for a few minutes to speak. Right. You know, so these packages I know fill a void, even though they're still going to get some video chats and stuff like that yeah. in the face, you know, with communications and the technology that they're, 
but still that tangible yeah, and the care. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm a touchy feely person too. I don't like. <laughs> I mean, the internet's cool, but I want to see if I'm spending money on something. I like to to see it and and you know figure you know what it, what am I purchasing? But in this case, you're right. Whether they can hang on to it or eat we, it is just right. We yeah. want them to know to know that we support them. Yeah, and it's the community. Right. Because again, our care package workshops. We've mm -hmm. received donations for right. items. Mm -hmm. um, I've done presentations in schools where the kids collect items. Mm -hmm. uh, churches and schools, they all do cards. Right. Last year, Sherry, how much candy did we get donated? Oh, oh my gosh. Right. I still have some. Because it's after Halloween. Sure. Our care package mm -hmm. workshop. I believe it was around 200 pounds of candy. Oh, I Something bet. like it easily. I so, believe you. Yeah, like I said, it's super Crazy. cool because mm -hmm. it, it is. It's really a community Well, the church is, yeah, exactly. I know when we when we went to church or go to church with COVID, but Crossroads out there, when they do their trunk or treats, man, they have 55-gallon barrels. <laughs> Literally, you know, and people donate the candy. And so so how much can they give? And really, do you really, some of the parents, how much do they want to take home? So that that's cool. And again, back to the community, they see that support. And that's, uh, again, where we touched on a little bit. they they don't we're not they're not getting that they're not seeing that and it, it does i'm i'm just i'm grateful and i'm not even there getting one but uh <laughs> so we've talked a little bit but t the covid has affected all of us and, all of us. and you've explained that a little bit on what it is so you know you got to get creative i know we do and, and, mm -hmm. and we'll get through it i mean i know we, we don't to. i don't want to and i know we don't want to go Our too far is. down that rabbit hole because uh we know the real deal our donations uh, can be dropped off at Duke Farm, too. Can they? Okay, yeah, I so... I think it can be dropped off at Duke Farm. Thank all right, I'm going to get to that now. Like Jamie said, I got my... I got our marching orders. <laughs> I got my marching I got my marching orders. You got your list, This is huh? a long one he's here. Li he, he's listening to you, yeah. Jamie. You got a whole list? I'm listening to this one here, too. <laughs> this is a good one here. You ready? We're ready. Please tell us how we at Little Blessings can continue to assist you and how other people can get connected with you to volunteer or get a family member on their list. Jamie will post us your we posted your link this morning on our website the warrior spotlight <laughs> so with that being said so how let's how can they get on your list okay so first of all member, we right. have a huge following on our Facebook site so you can go to military families of Monroe County on Facebook and message us mm -hmm. with their address right on and again they have to be from Monroe County in order to receive sure. a care package or mm -hmm. a gift card um, yeah. You can also go to our website, which is militaryfamiliesofmineralcounty.org. Um, my son is amazing with all the technical right, right. technology and today stuff. it's pretty, yeah, we can't get it. You know, these smart people say, oh, i got a smartphone. No, no, I'm not smart. No, it's... But you can go there as well, <laughs> and we're, um, we do have a PayPal account now. Right on. So if you want to donate through PayPal. All right. Or if you want to send a check, mm -hmm. um, our address is 210 West Front Street, P.O. Box 2534, Monroe 48161. Mm -hmm. but, and all that's on Facebook. Right. Yeah. But Jamie um, and Debbie, mm -hmm. Deborah from Duke Farm. Um, Debbie Duke. Debbie Duke. Yeah, we call her Debbie. We call her Debbie. <laughs> okay. For sure. No. They sure. are collecting um, gift cards, monetary donations. Right. The whole month of October, at the farm. Right. Okay. Cool. From ten to four, I believe. Ten to five. Ten to five. Right. No, so actually, the farm's open from eleven to five. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's a mailbox. But yeah, I get you. That's cool. But yeah, awesome. you can so you can drop off donations at Duke Farm. Sweet. Um, if you'd like to do cards, you can contact us mm -hmm. via uh, via our website or Facebook, and I can pick them up, or you know, we can work out arrangements where I can pick them up, or you can drop them off to me. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, okay, then how would uh, are you planning on? I know we might have touched this because we're jumping around, but that's cool. It's your time and my time and our time. So how would, uh, are you going to do another uh, stuff, a uh, box? Workshop. Workshop. Yeah, workshop, yes. Like Santa's workshop. Little yeah. elves are we going to get? Second you gonna... Wednesday in um, And that's what we November. posted up there on that, yeah. right there, right? Yeah, second okay. Wednesday um, in November. And that is in Monroe? Yes. At the? VFW. VFW. Yes. So that's pretty cool. So we definitely want to do a push like you're doing to get get everything there and so you have volunteers and so then we could just show up or do we need to kind of go through Facebook? well at this point in time I have not had a meeting right since March uh, I will be having a meeting our first one um, the second mm -hmm. week in October 
And at this point in time, I don't know if we are going to open it up to everybody. Sure. And I'm sorry, that is, is that after the election? Yes. Then we are going to rock and roll. I can tell you that. Because after the election, there ain't no mass around. I can tell you that. So, Take that to the bank. Yeah, I, I just, because what, I was so upset that we didn't send in I May. Bet. That I said, I don't care if we have to pack at my house. Right. And if it's just a minimal amount of people. And that was the other reason for the gift well, cards. We won't want no snitches. Because it won't take right. as much time sure. to pack. Because mm -hmm. stateside is our biggest number. Is it? Yes. So how many people? Right now, if we were to say we're going to pack. Normally, a, Christmas time, it's about 130 to 140. 30 boxes that you pack. Right. At that event. 130 to, say, 150 boxes. Right. Hopefully, right. your numbers are going to go up. 150 boxes. Mm -hmm. And how much is in a, how big is a box? Just the, large, the largest I know that's post not, office box. The largest, that's what you limit it to? The large, because if you get the, like the, uh, what are they, pre, uh, prepaid or the? The flat rate. Right. The flat rate box. Uh -huh. We take the large one and we fill a large one. And, and how, we put a lot how, in there. And how big is that box? Like, like this. Like a 12 by 14. Okay, and how yeah. high? About that high? We, yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to visualize what and all we, we can stuff in there. And we actually right. stuff it to like the top. Sure you do. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, some of this they're weight bowing. and all that. Yeah, they're bowing. Um, and then if you don't want to crush the Twinkies, strawberry Twinkies, then, you know, then what's that? And I will tell you that we have someone um, from Monroe that's currently overseas, mm -hmm. William Brock. Everybody knows William. Mm -hmm. um, we'll, we will send bulk. To him and his men. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, I was also Michigan. Just, so we'll go or, ahead and yeah. send uh, a yeah. bulk shipment over to Good, right. Will. So. And that's like you're saying where you're doing it. It's getting creative because it definitely does still costs if you only have so much shipping. Is we know shipping's a, a, well, is a number. Sherry just told me go ahead with the shipping cost on the boxes. Um, they're over twenty dollars now. Okay. Right. That's what I was gonna say. It's a uh, it's a big uh, it's a big number. Uh, it can be. I mean, I know enough about shipping it's based on weight with race car parts and different things that we get shipped it, it is it's definitely our care package workshops run around seven thousand dollars every six months for shipping shipping no, and, and the contents and the, and the contents about seven grand so do you uh and you rely on donations so obviously donations. even it was well, fund fundraising but right. we have not been able to do any fundraising sure so, so yeah it's been i got well you. we're gonna do it no matter what right right <laughs> Sure. It's guaranteed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna definitely. I can tell, and I appreciate that too. You got to because they. You know. Again, I. Well, their spirits have been low with all absolutely. of this COVID. Absolutely. I yes. had one um, serviceman that was over in Poland, mm -hmm. and he was only supposed to be there for nine months. Right. Yeah. And he ended up being there for sixteen months. Right. Because their borders were all closed. Right. And, you know, people like him, they needed a care package more than ever. Right. Sure, sure. So you do send two a, a, two a year off? We send in May and we send in and November. I don't know if and we've done special that. ones. So Spe like talk ahead, talk about our special ones. What's the special, special what's, ones? What would make uh, constitute um, as a special engagement? Well, we've done with William Brock to his men, but we've mm -hmm. also done, what, was, what ship was that? The USS Fitzgerald. Yeah, yeah. USS Fitzgerald. We, we sent a, uh, about five huge boxes, and I'm talking... Not the post office boxes, but like the big, big ones. Boxes to and then them. they divvied it up or something. I we mean, found yes. out exactly what okay. they wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, I believe, around four thousand dollars to the send all of that the out. The ship started tilting. To yeah, one yeah, side yeah, yeah. When they took on the ship. What? Uh, so then you and had your, your heroes too. homecoming, and then this next one is this is this is your workshop here and, or, yep, and fundraisers that you got yep, some photos of. Yeah. So the workshop, because I know when Jamie had sent the. We've seen the workshops, how, you, how well you had it laid out and just rocking and It is teamwork. like a... Yeah, I bet. I bet it's fun. It's, and yeah. it's very, very organized. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah, very organized. Yeah. Well, it's, again, you know... Again, well, we've been it. doing it for a little bit. Sure, you've yeah. learned, learn. let's hope. And uh, you also, I get getting the mo maximum in the box and like damaging goods and getting everything put in there properly. You've learned that, yeah, absolutely. You don't want to ship no eggs. And then, of course, you know, glass. We, we encourage people... To come help. Right. So we want to make sure that those care packages that are all being shipped are quality. Right. So someone that's never packaged before, mm -hmm. we have we have inspectors. Right. So once your care package is complete, that is brought to the inspection sure. table. Absolutely. Um, to make sure. Up, up or down? That's in Sherry's Is this an up? She is I one am. of them. Yep. She yeah. is yeah. one of them. Did they, they get an up or a down? Yes. Like, and I, either go put more in. And I more. always tell them they they will not be afraid to send you back yeah, to get more. Get, get, get more stuff. Yeah. In, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's kind of why I was saying stuff in the box. You know, you had 
Yeah. I actually do school presentations. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think of bringing about a care package tonight, but oh, I've yeah, actually I'm, taken care packages to schools, mm -hmm. and I take out everything, and their eyes are like, like huge. Wow. They yeah. can't believe everything is going. fit in sure. that box. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So yeah, I can, and it is. It, I bet too. I'm picturing the guys when they get them. Oh, they got, and then how they want to make it. Last. Some guys are just ripping through it, right? Or and then some of them are taking it real slow and making it, you know. Because again, it's six months or maybe never they get it to you know and get another one. I took Jamie yeah, around awesome. for hers when Jamie was there. I took Jamie around for hers care, and I guess no, put more in it. She's more. like, are you sure? I'm like, put more in it. Yeah, yeah. Put more in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like that Mongolian grill with the bowl, yeah. where you can put all your stuff in the egg on top she and put go, it out. get it all in there. No, I smashing it no that's awesome so then this one here is another hero parade. all right now this, this is, is kind of a parade? cool story here yeah. um when we started doing hero homecomings well, tell our audience when we scored, started though. doing hero homecomings <laughs> mm -hmm. um a lot of vietnam veterans came up to me and said where were you when we got home right and i heard that every yep. single time we had a hero homecoming so in 2014 we did a hero parade mm. where we recognized World War II, Korea, Vietnam, or any other war after that. Wow. We had four grand marshals. It was huge. The, right. All of Monroe was shut down. Right. VFW was standing room only. Um, That's awesome. It happened a while ago, but yeah. I still get teary. I Not had a bad. videographer. I was so busy doing sure. you know, the whole mm. event. Yep. Um, that I too. didn't sit down and watch the video, which, mm -hmm. by the way, we do still have those, mm -hmm. um, until about three weeks after the event. And I'm not a crier. And when I watched that video, yeah. I bet I bawled. I'm a crier, so I I'm mean, not even going to say it. We had a B-52 bomber I fly over. Here. Um, Let's set this up here for a second. I, uh, uh, so. yeah, yeah, we had helicopters I can tell you got fly a lot, over. A lot of effort in that board it as well was, as, it was as the event. Yep. And that's uh that's Nobody awesome because it. we had uh <laughs> was it the last two weeks ago veteran, the older gentleman in that he had come and he was from Vietnam. I was just like, I'm, I'm, I'm a loss here so I wanna be careful. Uh and he was in Vietnam and he was how when they got home because of that time and period how they were treated was horrible. I had Vietnam. It literally was horrible. I had yeah. Vietnam veterans um, during the presentations at the VFW that were actually breaking down and crying. Mm, I sure. mean, that wasn't my intent. No, well. And I, I, you know what I said? I apologize for the way that you were treated when mm. you came home, but I was just a child. Sure, me too. Yeah. And yeah. I, I was asked after that event, "Are you going to do this every yeah. year?" Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah, I mean, right. it was super, I super. Could tell. Yeah. And, and that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad. You, yeah, that's just because, again, we don't. I was a kid, too, Vietnam, right? I actually was telling Jamie I was, like, worried about getting drafted because that was I was born in 62. But either way, I was, I thought, because the draft was a oh, big yeah. thing then. And, I mean, I was only 10 years old or whatever. But, it, you know, but, yeah. And then when we see these movies and things and go, and, then, and now as we're older and we understand our freedoms and things that we do take for granted that too many people do, yeah, it was horrible. How they were treated, yes. but uh, that giving back like that—that that was awesome. I bet that that's we just may do, do again. another one of yeah, those you, again. You, I'm sure you will, and we'll get this get everything squared away. You're gonna uh, you're gonna be able to, and uh, yep, that'll be an awesome deal. Yeah. So well, then, what do you know? Oh, Hi. she did make it. Look who just walked in. <laughs> She's here to bail me out. He's only said squirrel twice. Yep. Now it's stoke the fire. Let's <laughs> stoke the fire. Well, oh, you look very nice. Thank you. Jamie's in the house. Jamie's by the way. here. The director is in the house. <laughs> She's bailing Ooh. Papa out. Um, He's done very well, by the way. So. Awesome. Hi, ladies. How are Hi, you? Hi, Jamie. Hi, viewers. How oh. are you? You're Andy. blocking the logo. Oh. Wow, okay. <laughs> Andy says do see not this. block the logo. No, I'm not blocking. Go ahead, Andy's honey. Please continue. continue. Oh, I just, is there anything else that we missed that you guys would like to... Uh, um, Actually, I, I did remember we had this other board here. Mm -hmm. um, and I talked earlier about um, participation with the schools. 
and Jefferson High School's art teacher is absolutely positively amazing. And the last two years, she's actually uh, personalized all the first. Two years ago, we did Christmas stockings, and last year we did Christmas hats. All right. So all the care packages had oh, yeah. yeah their names mm -hmm. on their hats. So I threw it out there on military families oh, Facebook. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see Rosie. Summer. With, Summer Rose. <laughs> that once you got your yeah. care packages, mm -hmm. send us a picture of you. You know, wearing mm -hmm. your hat. And I ended up putting one of those together for the art teacher at Jefferson, and she bawled, by the way. That's she cool. was, oh, yeah. And That's I thought, awesome. you know what, I'm going to keep the other one for presentations, because oh, yeah. all yeah. of the boards that I brought, we normally um, are at the fair, but COVID canceled that, too. Yeah. But when I do school presentations, I take all these boards, too. Sure. Because it's basically our story. Yeah. Right. The that's boards. why they're called storyboards. Right. Yeah. And that's why I am <laughs> taking, I'm taking this around, too. <laughs> yeah. Because that's I like super it. cool. Absolutely. I, yeah, I'm all about it. Trust me. And look how happy I they look. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 could you, uh, <laughs> the heroes welcome, and then... Uh, the, hero, yeah, the heroes welcome, and then uh, the big, big parade. I don't one they think did. she knew about that one. Mm. The big one or the no, heroes? I don't the. Oh, tell that one real quick. That's a good one. We can finish up. We got time. Yeah. We have time to talk yeah. about the hero parade. Yeah, tell her that. Yeah, we. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're only at seven thirty. Okay. We got some. We got some. Some. Some fudge to fill. Well, I was talking about our hero homecomings that we do for our combat veterans, mm -hmm. and I was saying that every time we would do one, I would always hear from Vietnam veterans saying, "We wish you were home." We wish that you were around when we came home. Right. Mm -hmm. So in 2014, we did a big hero parade. Oh. That was for all World War II, Korea, Vietnam, or any other war. Oh, that's Jamie, amazing. Jamie, all mm -hmm. of Monroe was shut down. All the streets were shut down. I had four grand marshals for that. The VFW was standing room only. We had a B-52 bomber fly over. We had a helicopter. Yep. It was huge. Did it have bombs in it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Mock bombs. Mock bombs. That's our producer back Billy there. Billy question. Billy question. Yeah, <laughs> it was sweet. It let was me sweet. tell you. It was Full sweet. Full of candy and they let the candy off all out. And then the fire departments, I didn't talk about this earlier, they had flags, a flag mm -hmm. that was over Monroe Street. Right. But yeah, it was, we should probably yeah. do that Have again you, When you look at the board, you'll see, yeah, it was cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. awesome. It really is. Because we were talking about... Um, <clears throat> Two weeks ago guest oh yeah um how he was saying about how he was treated when he come home yeah, yeah. The Viet, all of them the vets from vietnam yeah they'll the, all say the same thing yeah they all say the same well thing. i was saying earlier that i had right vietnam veterans actually crying during the presentation mm -hmm. at the vfw that day right not that that was my intent oh, but they were sure. just yeah. so moved mm -hmm. that they finally received an official mm. positive right welcome home yeah that's amazing that's amazing. Mm -hmm. It is. Yep. And, uh, okay, then uh, we got your date covered for the next one. For what? Her next box stuffing. Oh, okay. Awesome. Or what? Super excited about that. Yeah, we need uh, your daughter's address, by the way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to get that. <laughs> <laughs> get to how they get yeah, we've been, on our links. We've been plugging on our uh, Facebook site that we're in need of addresses and the deadline for addresses and cards is October 16th okay. and we are really firm on the deadline dates because I actually have members that go through all of the cards to make sure that they're appropriate because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sometimes a child will write I hope you don't die and they oh. sincerely sure are hoping Absolutely. that mm -hmm. they're honest but we we don't yeah. send those kind mm -hmm. of cards. So yeah. we actually have a team that goes through all the cards. And then I have a member that does all of the shipping stuff, and that's a huge undertaking. Yeah. So I was so blown away sure. last yeah. year by that. Because I, I know it was like it was like you hyped this event, right? And it was everything and then some when we got there. And you talk about structure. Bang! Yeah. I mean, everybody had their places, assume your positions. Love that. Only the boxes that you were required to fill with the stuff that goes in the box. And it, yeah, was, yeah. it was amazing. Fun. Oh, yeah. Fun. So fun, yeah. And rewarding. I mean, oh, it is yeah. so yes. rewarding. Yeah. The rewards are To take the sure. pictures, you know, when we're all next to those boxes, it yeah. is so great. Uh -huh. Yeah. And my daughter loved it. She was totally shocked because this, this was her first time. 
being gone and receiving something like that. So she was beside herself when she got the box. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we so, we make a lot of people happy, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, mm-hmm. especially how she when she told her story about how it uh, continued after her son has been out. Now mm-hmm. he works at Fermi up there, mm-hmm. keeps them as patrol. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I ever told you, Jamie, but what when my son went to Afghanistan, infantry, mm-hmm. two forty machine gunner. Um, you know that old saying, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade? Mm-hmm. My family adopted his platoon. Oh. And we sent all kinds of stuff in marketing to my background. So, you know, we had donation boxes and grocery stores. And and then once I realized how happy we made them, mm-hmm. I'm like, we can do this for all the Monroe County. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. You know, this is why I love the community partnerships that we have, right? I don't do what you do. You don't do what we do. Right. But we work together and support the veterans, whether currently serving or active military and mm-hmm. our veterans, right? Right. And it's so important for us to work together as Absolutely. organizations, right? Supporting one another. It's not about, you know, financial debates or anything like that. It's really, truly about supporting one another. Working and, together. Yeah. And that's why, you know, being on this podcast, you know, why I was like, yes, I want you on the podcast, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, you guys are an amazing organization. And Thank you. I had never even heard about it before I met you, you know? It was through the grapevine. You have to meet Tammy. You have to meet Tammy. You were like this... Super, you were like the great Oz. You have to meet Tammy. <laughs> I, <love that. laughs> I didn't wear boots tonight. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious. And then, yeah, right. and then, I mean, I know we played phone tag a little bit trying to, to get connected, but once we did, I mean, it was just like instantaneous, you know? And, uh, yeah, I mean, you've supported us, and we will always support you in any way that we can. No, you'll see so, what I said earlier about you. Oh. But, yeah, she's absolutely <laughs> yeah, you have to edit what I said out. Yeah, she'll. Yeah. Trust she'll, me, Jamie was watching Billy like a hawk the whole time. Were you? Right? Were you I watching not. him? No, no. I was not. No. He's Stop. done well. Yeah. He's I'm done well. I gotta get there. He's yeah. out of control. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sherry, tell them about your grandkids. This is my, really cute. My granddaughters, because my son gets the boxes, so they they pretty much open them and they call them angel boxes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they're to, for them, they're air, angel boxes. And so when my son was deployed this past Christmas mm-hmm. and he got his box overseas, Tammy wanted to send one to my granddaughter so they had their angel box too. <laughs> they had to. Because <laughs> we send, we, we post pictures when they receive their care packages mm-hmm. if they choose to share their mm-hmm. pictures. Mm-hmm. And her granddaughters are always like right on top of the box with Lori. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it hit me while we were, you know, preparing or planning for the care package workshop, they're not going to get their <laughs> angel box. <laughs> yeah, and the angel box was all for them. Well, yeah. actually, probably Corey's box is all for them, too. Mm-hmm. But And the girls help separate when they get home. They help go through the care the boxes and separate stuff, too. So mm-hmm. right. they put them to work. Yeah, we had um, <laughs> uh, them on the show, on the radio show. Mm-hmm. Yes. And they were so fun, and that's why while their dad was deployed and... And then you guys had one time when you were at the barn and you FaceTimed him when the girls were riding, the, yes, riding they're, a horse. They're riding the ponies, yeah. yeah, and it was, it's so crazy to know that you can FaceTime, right? Because when I was in there, you weren't FaceTiming. No. <laughs> right, same with I Josh. Bob. Yeah, yeah. Bob, Bob had to go to the, when he was telling us how to communicate. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, it wasn't like that. And I would literally get a 15-minute phone call once a week. You know, See, is what we would get. Weeks mm-hmm. would go by. Mm-hmm. I mean, six, seven weeks before I would hear from Josh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was really volatile over there back right. then. Yep. Yeah. And I, yeah. And it, Josh would always say to me, Mom, no news is good news. And mm-hmm. I'm like, well, I'll be the first one they tell. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I would, when I would really start missing him and worrying, mm-hmm. I would always hear him say that to me, yeah. Mom, no mm-hmm. news is good news. See, and I would really love, and I don't know if there's an organization like you in the Toledo location, Lucas County. Mm-hmm. Um, we just had a mom and um, her daughter at the farm, right? And I grew up with her, and her son is deployed for the first time. Okay. And so she's a first-time deployed mother, right? Oh. And she hadn't heard from him in who knows how long right so she was ex- like beyond nervous right so she's trying to make all these phone Correct. calls to get contact <laughs> right 
and come to find out he had COVID, mm. right? And so he had been um, in bed like 16, 18 hours a day. But we finally got her connected with us and said, this is why you don't have to do this alone. You're surrounded by people who understand what you're going through. Absolutely. Right? And so we would, I would love to find one on the Ohio side. Well, you right? tell her that she can come see us. Okay, I will. Yeah. I just wasn't going to invite those Ohio folks. Know, you know what? This what? is what the deal is. Yeah. Um, we will start, I was telling your husband this earlier, uh, we start our 10 years in October. That's amazing. And I have heard um, stories where uh, service people that are deployed never receive anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we, we add those names to our list. Right. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, people that are out of Monroe County um, in situations, you know, the parents reach out to us. Mm -hmm. We will add them to the list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I can tell you that type of person. Yeah. I can say, oh, yeah, we'll find somebody else. Or no, whatever. and I will tell you with all the events that we've done over the years, and we've done a lot, um, one we did at St. Mary's Park, and I'll never forget this. His family came up. We had all of our merchandise. We have Red Friday t-shirts. We've got tons of merchandise. And they started questioning what we did, and I started talking to him. He's like, oh, my gosh. They need to have one of these in every city across the United <laughs> States. Right. And I'm like, dude, one city is all I can handle. Right. <laughs> but, I mean, he was just. Sure. Oh, yes. And, and he right. actually. Um, he was part of one of the hero homecomings. I called them double headers. He was a Vietnam veteran. Mm -hmm. And I forget whose homecoming we sh Anyways, he was in the parade. Oh, nice. He said it was the best day of his life. That's amazing. Yeah, well, I mean, we mm -hmm. honored him. Um, and it was after our big hero parade when, when we met him. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, we're never going to turn anyone down. That's, um, when I was just at a speaking engagement, um, I was invited, and they had asked me if we only served veterans in Monroe County, and that is, that's not true for us. So we serve any veteran who needs help or any veteran family. So it doesn't, I mean, we've helped veteran families in Florida, you know, because they needed our help. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, nope, a veteran is a veteran. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yep. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I could tell you, I want to, I want to speak um, briefly on the part of the family side of things, right? So during my transitioning, it is like I've talked about this on the last show, I believe, but what I'm learning about the families that I didn't know about the families, and I love that my husband is part of this. I really do because at first I was like, yeah, you want to be on the show, and then I was like. I really like the dynamics, right? And I really love to hear his questions, right? Because I have a veteran perspective. I don't have a civilian perspective, right? Mm -hmm. So I would love to hear that. And then going through what we're going through and listening to some of the um, mothers and spouses side of things has just been totally, totally eye-opening. Sure. There are not enough resources for the families out there, right? Because when they're in service, right, everybody is like, oh, your son or daughter's a hero, yay, right? Or husband, whichever, <laughs> wife. And then when they're out and they're, you know, they're in some sort of system, the VA system, right? I know where they're you're like, going. Oh, man, we're so sorry for your veteran. We're so sorry, right? And then it has truly, truly been humbling to me and eye-opening to realize how much the family is left out and how much they've always been there as a constant support. Mm -hmm. You know, because I, you know, I'm hearing these things from these, these wives in this group and I know they're, they're the exact same thing that he would say, right? And there's days I leave there bawling because I can't believe that I was the way that I was, but that's where I was, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I can't look backwards. I can only grow from these experiences, Absolutely. Right? And help other people grow so they don't have to, but no. Thank you, family, so much. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And there's been times, because I'm not a veteran, mm -hmm. that I'll go to Josh, my veteran son, with, you know, questions. Because there's been times that veterans that are deployed, they stay in contact with me. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they'll say stuff to me and I don't understand it mm -hmm. because I've never been deployed overseas. So I'm like, Josh. <laughs> right? and, and yeah, he's my go to guy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Um, ex except you're the veteran side of things. Mm -hmm. Right. 
But yeah, we've always supported them, haven't mm -hmm. we? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the entire time. Yeah. And that's yeah. the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, and we're about to go embark on ours with our daughter in it. I mean, we did with Cody, but Cody was with you, and so I'm, I know that's a different uh, it was, dynamic. It was so different. It yeah. was really weird because when she was serving, she was doing a homeland defense mission, and she served at the same unit I did, but we were in completely different buildings. Um, but it was really weird because I was still in that in-service in mode, mission right. mode, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I'm very proud of the service that she did. Absolutely. Very, very much so. And so it's really weird, and I think I might have said this as I was coming to you because I have that... My, uh, what's the flag? The when you have somebody who's gone, the oh, single star. star, not gold the gold star. star. Oh, you mean deployed? Yes, blue star. The blue, blue star, star. Blue right. star banner. And so when I got my blue star banner, I never even heard of such a thing. I remember. Mm -hmm. Right, never heard of such a thing, and it was that was my first real like, oh my gosh, I'm a I'm a parent yeah. <laughs> to somebody in the military, right? Right. And it's really been me trying to digest this, right? And now I hear, you know, we're gearing up for a deployment, right? You know, and so it'll be an experience, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, that's what I was saying, oh, right? Yeah. And I, I think, I don't mean when they're deployed, they're still deployed. But like you had mentioned about your son being in holding a military, uh, a rifle, not a rifle, a machine gun, weaponist, mm -hmm. or whatever that would be. Now, I'm not taken from anybody else's deployed, but they are. there's different risks, I guess I would He's, say. You he know was a mean? target. A pilot, yeah, a pilot, guy with a, big a gun. gunner, yeah, the front line, the army, oh, yeah. you know, the, the, the same res you would get from the Air, the Air Force is in the country club, and, yeah. and we're down here in the Everybody club. has their mission. But there is yeah. a different yes. level, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's I'm just trying to say that. I mm -hmm. think that yeah. I can only imagine, oh, my gun, the kid's got a gun, right? Mm -hmm. oh, you know, versus... But they're still at risk. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, and he was invincible. Yeah, well, they all are. We are. Actually, still, he's still, still invincible. I just don't move as fast. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he is anyway. <laughs> is that Andy? No, my Gosh. my veteran son. <laughs> She's him the evil eye. I just watching. gave him the evil eye. <laughs> oh, I was like, I thought, yeah, we're all invincible, right? Say, I won't. I've yeah. been in the hospital. I got an extra four weeks out of the past six. So. Right. Oh no. <laughs> Are you invincible too? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I know it, but uh, yeah, that's cool. So I think, I don't know, what do you think, Ma? I think it's about almost quitting time. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. having us. Thank you for allowing donations to come to Duke Farm and Little Blessings. I said it before, I'm going to say it again. We appreciate you, Jamie. Yeah. You're amazing, and the yeah. things that you do are amazing. Thank you. Thank the you. feeling is mutual, yeah. for sure. Thank you. Know. you. Absolutely. So, this is why we work to so together. About, yeah. 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 I yeah. see it from a distance, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the, the heroes thing. We could have to... Oh, there's when so much. Get, yeah. yeah, you just got to control your brain and yeah. stay focused. <laughs> Focus. Yeah. Yeah. Still the fire. Still yeah, we're we're no, long. I mean, we're long. How we could help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, we'll have to just have a yeah, yeah. right. But we'll William stop. Brock will be home. Um, Marchish. Marchish. <laughs> Where William yeah. Brock is. Yeah. I don't know. He's one of our veterans who are is deployed. He? Okay, well, mm -hmm. yeah, and I, like I always pick on him. I, I was he is like Tom Cruise. Is he? Yeah. yeah, he's invincible. Oh, <laughs> can't wait to go to that. I can't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna we'll, Google William Brock when we're we'll, here. We'll, we'll definitely be having like a hero coming for him. <laughs> when we got back in June. Yeah, <laughs> COVID. All right, quick, close it. Up. Quick uh, websites for yep. websites or anything. You can catch us on Military Families Monroe County on Facebook. Or you can visit our website at militaryfamiliesinmonroecounty.org. Or you can actually call me, 734-497-8999. And again, Duke Farm and Little Blessings are taking donations, monetary, and gift cards um, the whole month of October. Sweet. Yep. You want to do yours? Yeah, close that mall. No, we'll just post it all. Yeah, we'll post everything. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. Yeah.